Hey, this is Nick McPhee again, and I'm going to actually walk through one of the examples in Chapter 4 of Introduction to Computing and Programming in Python, a Multimedia Approach by Gus Dial and Erickson. And this is the Creating a Sunset example, um, which is in the fourth edition in Section 4.4 .4 on page 95, Program 37. And so the idea is we're going to take a picture and we're going to modify the color of each pixel by decreasing the green and the blue. Um, the idea being we'll kind of pink up the picture in some ways. Um, we're not going to do this in a very clever way. Like we will pink up every aspect of the picture. Um, we can try to make that fancier um, in a little bit. Um, but at least as a first pass, we're just going to reduce the amount of green and blue, which will make everything pinker in the picture. So let's see what that might look like. So we'll def make sunset. I'm going to take a picture and we're going to need to do this to every pixel. So like it will be true on so many of these image manipulation things. We will have, you know, for pixel in get pixels picture. So we're going to want to process every single pixel in the picture. What are we going to want to do? We're going to want to reduce the amount of green and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and get the green and the blue out of this thing. So I'm going to say get green of the pixel that we got. And I'm going to get the blue out, get blue of the pixel that we got. And then for each one of them, I'm going to then set, actually I'll do it, let's do the green first. So I'll say set green, uh, and it takes the pixel, and then it takes the value I want for green. And I want the old value of green times, let's say 0.7, that's what they use in the book. But basically what I'm trying to do is reduce the amount of green. I could be 0.9, it would be a smaller reduction, 0.5 would be a really strong reduction, kind of up to us. Okay. And then I'll set blue to be in the pixel to be B times 0.7. Okay. And that changes every pixel in the image to have less green and less blue. So let's save that. Let's load that. Let's grab an image. So let's say I'll load up, um, pick a file. Uh, I'll do this Kyoto, uh, where's my gate? Japanese gate. Um, so let's see what that picture looks like before we've done anything to it. So that's what that picture looks like originally. And so when we reduce the blue and the green, it should have a fairly dramatic effect here on the sky and on the uh, woods here in the background. Um, so I'm going to close that. And then I'll say make sunset picture. Oh, gate. Sorry. Call it gate down here. Do, 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 do. And then show gate. And we can, oh, I should have kept the original up. Well, didn't. But we can see that it's a little pinker um, than it was. Um, the roof here actually got noticeably redder than it used to be. This gold is more orange than it was. And the sky got darker. It didn't actually get much redder. It mostly just got darker. So this might not have been an awesome picture to try to turn into a sunset um, because the sky was so blue. Let's try a different picture. Um, let's say beach make picture, pick a file. Um, so there's a picture that uh, comes with the book that I think is called beach, 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 beach. Yep um that might be a better choice so let's show beach 
And this one may not work so well either, because that's a pretty blue sky. But maybe not. Maybe it'll work. We'll, we'll see. Um, so let's say make sunset picture of beach. Show beach. And... Um, ah. Oh. Do I have to close that? Show beach. Oh, I do. Sorry about that. Um, so you got to close. If you've shown a picture and you try showing it again, it'll just show you the old version. You've got to actually close the window and then redo show. And this did make a pretty substantial difference. This is looking more sunsetty. It did make everything pretty pink, right? Like it made the sky pretty pink, but it also made like the water pretty pink. This hill has gotten quite pink. Um, but that gives you the idea. Um, so for a simple sunset, we've uh, taken the, gone for every pixel in the picture. We've got the green value out. We've set a new green value for that pixel that is the old green value times 0.7. So 70% of what it used to be. And we've done the same thing for the blue. And that increases the red and generally darkens the picture because we're reducing the amount of green light and blue light being projected when the image is displayed. We could try for fun, like really cranking this down so we only have 50% of the green and the uh, blue. So let's try beach. And so this should be the original unaffected beach image. Yep, it is. And now we can say uh, make sunset beach and show beach, which will be the, oops, up oh, case matters. So that's the original one. Now if I close that and show beach again, whoa, really, really red, right? We, It's a lot darker and it's much redder than it was. Um, because we've reduced the um, amount of green and blue so much. And one thing we could do, if we want to brighten the picture up, we don't want it to get so much darker, um, we could actually increase the red. By 1.25. So we're reducing the green and the blue, but we're going to bump up the red and see what that does. So, um, beach, yep, pick my beach picture again, and show the beach picture so that we see that, yes, indeed, it's the original, and then we'll say make sunset beach, and then show beach, which will be the original. Close that, show beach again. And wow, it's actually become quite purple. Um, so reducing the red and the green and increasing, I mean the blue and the green and increasing the red actually made it, oh, no, 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 I made a boo-boo. I set the blue to be R times 1.25. I actually cranked up the blue. So I lowered the blue and then I overwrote that by cranking the blue up. So we lowered the green, cranked up the blue, which gave us sort of more purple. Um, so that was a boo-boo on my part. So this should have been set red. So what I get for not having people here to tell me when I'm making mistakes. So don't, you know, you know, boom. Beach, ding, show beach. Yep, got the original beach. That's a happy thing. Now we will make sunset beach. Da, 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 show beach. That's the original. Now we'll show the actual modified beach. There we go. So that's not as dark as it was before. It's definitely redder, like that's 
kind of crazy sunset. Um, yeah, not very realistic. Uh, but it gives us, you know, something certainly different and interesting. Um, I'm going to do one other thing, and then I'll wrap this up. Uh, if we go back to our look at the original picture for a second. Beach, 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 beach. We could maybe think to just focus on changing areas that are strong in blue to be less blue and green and leave the rest of the picture more alone. It might not work very well because this water is pretty green, but it's also fairly blue. So we might end up changing the water some too, but we could give it a shot and see if maybe um, identifying pixels that are mostly blue and turning them into more sort of a stronger red would be a good idea. Um, so let's try... Um, we'll def, def make sunset two picture. And so again, for every pixel in the picture, um, I'm going to actually grab red, green, the red, green, and the blue, um, So I'm going to want to look at all three of them. So let's try looking for cases where, so I'm looking for pixels that are fairly blue. So I want the blue to be, let's say more than a hundred. And I want the red to be, um, well, maybe what I want is the red and the green to be pretty close together. Um, yeah, maybe that's what I want. Is I want the red and the green to be pretty close together. Because then the red and green are just modifying how dark or light the blue is. So let's try absolute value of R minus G is less than 20. Totally making this up as I go along. If those two things are true, then we will set green to be um, green times 0.7 and set blue to be blue times 0.7. Otherwise, we're going to leave it alone. So we'll only change pixels where, that have a fair bit of blue and where red and green are pretty close together. I don't know if this is going to make sense. We're going to work. Let's see what happens. So beach is still, I think, the same old beach. Yep. Uh, so make sunset to beach and show beach. Oh, I've still got the same thing up. Ah. Show beach. Whoa, that was not good. That was definitely not good. So I seem to have affected mostly these dark areas in the hill in the background and the white in the surf and the bright areas in the foreground. Ooh, that did not do the desired thing at all. Um, let's try, let's say there needs to be more blue. So let's say at least 150 blue. And maybe my idea of having the red and the green be close together wasn't useful. Um, or maybe I don't want them to be, maybe I want them to be kind of mid-range. So let's say that, um, There, oh, no, let's say, and uh, R is at least 100, and R is less than 200. I have no idea if this will work. Loader up. 
beach. Beach, 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 beach. Show beach. Yep, so we have the original beach. Awesome. Uh, make sunset to beach. Show beach. No, I'm still mostly getting the white and the... So let me let me explore. Let's see if we can figure out what, what are the properties of the sky that are interesting. So the blue is actually very high there, 229. And the red and the green aren't as close as I was saying. I was saying the red and the green need to be within 20 of each other. And here they're 40 apart. And up here the blue is still over 228. And the red and the green are about 40 from each other. Okay, so I think part of it is that the blue just needs to be more blue. Um, maybe the... Um, see, what, what do we get down here? Okay, here the, the red and the green are like 55 apart. Um, and the blue isn't that high. It's not 200. So maybe really the thing to focus on is that the blue is 200 or more. And the red is maybe under 100. Maybe that's the, the thing to capture um, the areas that we care about. Is the blue is over 200 and the red is... Mm, like under 170 even. So let's try that. So let's say the blue is at least 200 and the red is less than 170. So let's try that. Load. Uh, beach. And then show beach to make sure that we're still, yeah, got the original beach. That's awesome. I'm going to close that. Then I'm going to say make sunset to beach and show beach. And so that reddened up this part of the sky but it didn't get this part of the sky. Um, and that looked really terrible. That was not good. Um, oh, you know, I should have been exploring the original image. Let's reload the beach. Because I was looking at properties after we'd modified things. Let's actually... Explore beach before we've started to fiddle with stuff. So what's going on down here? So blue is, ah, so red's 173. So that's why this area down here didn't get changed. Is I My limitation to red to being less than 170 didn't work. So less than 180 might be okay. Um, but less than 170 was not great um so let's say less than 180 um and save and load and um make sunset to beach show beach Oh, so that's kind of a little better. I mean, it's a little weird. There's some pretty strange artifacting um, around the limbs and along the edge. Um, so it's kind of a nasty edge there. Uh, but it's actually not a bad sunset sky, right? If you ignored the, um, the artifacting, the sunset sky is pretty good. Um, and the fact that we don't get any added pinkness to the rest of the image looks a little funny. Um, so I wonder if actually maybe the thing to do... No, I need to stop. Finish this video. 
Um, let's actually say otherwise um, we'll set green to be pixel G times 0.9 and set blue pixel B times 0.9. So we'll say let's uh, reduce the green and the blue in the non-sky by a little bit and reduce the green and the blue in the sky parts by a lot or a fair bit. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, load the program. Um, load up my beach picture one more time. Uh, beach. And then show beach. Make sure that we've got the right thing. Yep, beach is looking good. Close that. Make sunset to beach. Show beach. Yeah, that's looking a little better, right? There puts a slightly pinkish tinge on the sand and the water. That's looking a little more sunsetty. I mean, the artifacting's still sort of nasty, but eh, we're not going to worry about that right now. That's a problem for another day. Um, but I think this is headed in the right direction. If you really wanted to play with this, you could turn this into something that would, you know, help make reasonable sunsets. Now, just for fun, I want to actually reload. Um, my gate picture and just see what this new um, version does to the gate picture. So my images, Japanese gate, um, show gate to make sure we get the right picture. Yep, looking good. Because this might really change the sky in a way that would be interesting. May um, Make, oh! Sunset to gate and show gate. That'll be the old one because I forgot to close it. Show gate again. Yeah, that didn't actually pick it up very much, did it? Um, I mean, it is a little pinker. So especially you kind of see down here that there's some pinking. Um, and there is, I think the roof got a little pinker, but it did also leave the rest of it more alone. Um, I wonder if, if I change this to by like, get all crazy, um, load gate, um, make sure they got the right picture. Yes, we do. There is a little, there might be a little red in that roof anyway, but it definitely gets pinker when we run this. Uh, make sunset to gate, show gate. Ah, yeah. So that's, because this was so strongly blue, it mostly just makes it darker without making it redder. Um, so we might add some red to this. Um, as a way of punching up the, the sky a little bit. And you can see we're getting that edging problem that we had on the other picture here as well. So uh, let me try one last thing. I, it's just so hard to step away. So let's actually set red to be pixel r times 1.25. Oh, let's be really radical and say one and a half. Meow. And gate, and gate, and show gate, because I want to see that the gate's the original picture. It is, good thing. Run, make sunset two, and show the gate one more time. Oh, so that's actually looking kind of cool. Um, that's a neat sky. It doesn't really fit super well with the rest of the image, but it's a neat sky. Um, and I think you could, you might even be able to get away with multiplying the red by two. Um, and that would, I think, brighten it and make it redder at the top. And maybe even have the green and the blue go down more. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think that that's um, an exercise left to the reader uh, at this point. So we can wrap this video up. But I think there's some cool stuff there. So hopefully that helped. Let me know if you got any questions. We will talk to you later. Goodbye.